my first impressions wow man it's just like using a telescope if you want to take photos of wild animals birds so far away up in the sky or if you're a paparazzi this lens is definitely for you What's up guys, Dan Furlani here and welcome back to a new video. What do I talk about today? Well, I just wanted to share some of my recent experiences, something that happened to me not long ago, just a few days ago, as I showed you in my previous video. I went to the center of Madrid to shoot some photos and videos. Hola chicos, hoy en el centro de Madrid, with a friend of mine, a Spanish YouTuber. Hola. What's up? ¿Qué tal? So we've been walking around, taking photos and videos, sharing our experience as filmmakers slash photographers slash YouTubers. And that was fun. So while I was shooting with my Canon R6 with two lenses, the 16 to 35 and the 85 millimeters, getting some cinematic sequences like B-rolls. In the meantime, my friend Greg was trying for the first time his new telelens, the RF 800mm f11, mostly for photos. So, as I said, from the beginning we had a lot of fun. We started walking from a place in, in a park in the center of Madrid called the Temple of Debud. Debud? Debud? Well, there. And we kept walking in and around many different gardens and places inside that park, but let's say inside and outside that park. Man, it would be walking so much. I love it. Then, when I was about to leave, to go back home. My friend Greg said, hey, wait a minute, you haven't tried my lens yet. Why don't you try it with your Canon R7? And I said, hmm, all right. I didn't think about it twice. I dropped my camera bag, I opened it, and I put my Canon R6 inside with the Joby Gorilla Pod, and I picked up the Canon R7, and I put the RF 800 millimeters on it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And my first impressions, man. And then I started to take some photos from the place we were in that specific moment. It wasn't easy, first of all, because I had to adjust the settings like really fast. And second, keep in mind, I was using a Canon R7, the crop sensor camera. So let's say an 800 millimeters, when you use it on a full frame, it looks like pretty tight, right? It's like 800 millimeters. But man, when you put it on a crop sensor camera, such as the Canon R7, it multiplies that times 1.6. So we get something like 1200, 1300 millimeters. Man, that's a telescope. At first, it wasn't very easy for me to spot a subject or something to take a photo of, keep it in frame and then get the shot. I mean, it wasn't easy. The R7 has IBIS stabilization and the lens has stabilization but still with the equivalent of a 1200 1300 millimeters I guarantee you that's not easy at all 
So I took some photos of some monuments and buildings very far away. And it doesn't matter how far these buildings were, I could get only some details of them. Then I tried to get some more street photography style photos. I have to admit, even though it wasn't easy, it was challenging, seriously, but that was fun. Maybe it wasn't easy for me to use this combo, the 800mm with the R7, because I'm not used to this kind of telelens, because the tightest lenses I ever used are like the 135mm or the 7200 but also uh, I used the 55 250 for crop sensor cameras with my Canon 90D so but these are the tightest lenses I've ever used I almost forgot something very important for me but maybe for you too because if you check the links down in the description you can see all my gear stuff and things my things and there is also the link to Epidemic Sound. If you want one month of awesome music and great sound effects, one month for free, it's on me. So do I recommend this lens? According to my experience, it depends. If you're like me, I prefer to stay in the middle of the action where things actually happen that you can see just with your eyes first and then capture the moment with your camera. But to see things from so far away that they can't actually see with your eyes only because they're too far away but to see them in camera is kind of weird it's like it's just like using a telescope it has its pros and its cons and for me I don't know I'm just not that kind of photographer or video maker so let's say I wouldn't buy this lens not for me but if you want to take photos of wild animals or birds so far away up in the sky or if you're a paparazzi well then this lens is definitely for you don't be fooled by the f11 aperture because provided you frame the subject and focus it properly because of the compression of the 800 millimeters you get some awesome battery shallow depth of field if that's what you're looking for so it definitely depends on what kind of photographer you are because it's definitely not worth it to buy this lens to do street photography unless you want to do it in a very stealth mode this can be a great lens for you if you have a full frame camera such as the Canon R6 or even for a crop sensor camera like the R7 that make it actually even better because you see everything like closer to you so you can take a photo of bear like if it's in front of you but you're actually so far away you'd better be all right I just wanted to share this experience of me using for the very first time this telelens the RF 800 millimeters f11 and that's basically about it all right I think I don't have anything else to say now I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did smash the like button right now and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video oh yeah